Hey guys, in this match, I was planning to pick Cecilia at first, but once I saw that they picked Ying, who eats Dashless Hero for breakfast, I decided to change my mage pick and went for Kalita instead. Kalita is still a pretty solid mage, since she's not the easiest to kill and can one-shot most of these squishy heroes. It's really important to adjust according to the enemies and your own team's composition. Don't be too stubborn that you will pick one and only one out of 150 heroes. That's a recipe for getting stuck in whatever rank you might be. I guess S3 want to pick Roger, but once he saw S4's name, which is jungler or AFK, he decided to adjust. I have every secret that and thanks to that little happy accident, we are going to have a very good T-Girl in our team. They call me a hero because I saved my nation. Welcome to Mobile Legends! As expected, Tigra is going to delay the enemy's buff. If you don't want to get wrecked by this tactic, it's important to have a good early support heroes to counter that, such as Hylos, Lilia, and so on. The ocean waves are so soothing. There's no reason for me not to join Tigra here. We can make the jungler's life miserable. I know that Ying is in low HP, I'm just going to wait for him. Welp, this seems like GG already. Kyra wants to reach level 4 and then try to outplay me. I'm gonna use the turtle as bait and anticipate their game's attempt to steal it. Good thing that we let them get some kills, or else this will have been just way too easy. Smiley face. Luckily, this Yin does seem quite inexperienced. Amazing setup by Tigro. Whenever you are playing the support or tank, if you see there's a good chance that your teammates can get kills even though you have to sacrifice yourself, just go for it. In the end, you'll gain more gold because of the assist bonus from the roaming item.
poor Kagura. He didn't stand a chance in this foursome. I saw Yin coming this way, I'm gonna get ready for him. Osa? Nope. Oof, that was close. Tigra and Kadita seems like a pretty deadly combo. Even if you are winning by a huge margin, you might still encounter a trash talker on your team. This Kagura for some reason is prioritizing me. But I will make a super epic play by ulting first, then use Flicker right on top of her. This is the time for the highlight. Objective Gaming Kuroko 
Confuse the enemy and make them think you are using a weird build and still won regardless. Who am I kidding? Nobody will fall for this anymore. Anyway, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.